When the precogs declare a victim and a killer, their name is embedded in the grain of wood. Since each piece is unique, the shape and grain is unique. The shape and grain is impossible to forge. I'm sure you all understand the legalistic drawback to pre-crime methodology. Here we go again. Look, I'm not with the ACLU on this, Jeff. But let's not kid ourselves. We are arresting individuals who have broken no law. But they will. The commission of the crime itself is absolute metaphysics. The precogs see the future, and they're never wrong. But it's not the future if you stop it. Isn't that a fundamental paradox? Yes, it is. You're talking about predetermination, which happens all the time. Why'd you catch that? Because it was going to fall. You're certain? Yeah. But it didn't fall. You caught it. The fact that you prevented it from happening doesn't change the fact that it was going to happen. You ever get any false positives? Someone intends to kill his boss or his wife, but they never go through with it. How do the precogs tell the difference? Precogs don't see what you intend to do. Only what you will do. Then why can't they see rapes, or assaults, or suicides? Because of the nature of murder. There's nothing more destructive to the metaphysical fabric that binds us in the untimely murder of one human being by another. <laughs> Somehow I don't think that was Walt Whitman. Zara Cinnamon. She developed precogs, designed the system, and pioneered the interface. Speaking of interfacing, I'd love to say hello. To Hinneman. To them. Cops aren't allowed inside the temple. Really? You've never been inside. We keep strict separation so that no one can be accused of tampering. So I'll be the first one to go in then. Maybe you didn't hear me. If it's a question of authority. No, there is no question. You don't have any. I have a warrant in my pocket that says different. Show it to me. Sure. This investigation of pre-crime and its personnel is being conducted under the direct supervision and express permission from the Attorney General of the United States. I'm here as his representative, which means you're now operating under my supervision. Seems you've been left out of the loop, John. <laughs>